So the doctor said, if this is my thermometer, where's my pen? Hey everybody, what's going on? Just thought I'd make a little video to show you my latest Funko Pop haul from Hot Topic. Now we got some real good ones. We got about four of them here. Uh, we got about two exclusives, uh, one cool one, and one really, really good find that uh, we came up on on Hot Topic. And the first one's gonna be Tyrese from The Walking Dead. Now this one's a Hot Topic exclusive, and that's what every pop collector or every collector have that likes to see is uh, exclusive, because it makes them feel a little bit special, which I do, even though half of the population of the United States has one of these. But anyways, let's go ahead. The box is pretty cool. Um, yeah, in this series, you get all of these people. Oh, uh, Herschel. We got the headless Herschel one. Maybe I'll show you guys one day. That's really, really cool. All right, let's take a look at this sucker. All right, here it is, Tyrese, the exclusive from Hot Topic, and spoilers if you haven't been up to date with uh, your uh, your Walking Dead, but this one has the, the bite on the arm where, you know, oh, Tyrese passed. But how many times did he bite him in the show? He has one bite mark right here, and then he has an open wound. So I don't know, but he's got some blood spatter on him. It's a really cool pop, and I think he's gonna be coming to a Comic-Con or a Terracon, something like that in San Antonio, so I'm probably gonna go watch it. He has a rock, or it looks like a Kong shell, or I have no idea what the fuck this is, but I don't remember this in the show. But if you guys know, let me know, shit. But yeah, really, really cool pop. Again, how many times did he get bit? I think it was just that once, then if, if this is the bite, then what the hell is this? I have no idea. But anyways, like I said, a really, really cool pop. Let's put that aside. All right, now our next pop is gonna be Stitch Disney 159. And here's all the Stitch, uh, Lilo and Stitch characters that are out right now. Now this one is just like the regular one, 159. Uh, however, this one, a Hot Topic exclusive, it's flocked. Now, if you don't know what flocked is, uh, it just means it's furry. Let's take this sucker out. Here you go. I don't know if you can see that, but it's it's just a little furry. And that's it. And this one is in relatively good shape. Uh, it's got some marks right here, but that's from the box. But oh, well, hopefully that'll come off. And he's got, oh, I don't remember that stripe in the back. But yeah, it's, it's a little dirty though. But anyways. But anyways, it's a really, really, really cool uh, uh, pop, uh, especially a Disney pop. Uh, my wife is big time into Disney. That's how she got into Funko Pops. But uh, yeah, this is this is really really cool. A little bite in the ear or something. Oh, he's uh, got the same thing down here. But yeah, I like this pop a lot. Very 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 cool. And uh, sticking with the Disney theme, uh, we also got Mushu and Cricket from Mulan. Now they okay yeah they do have Mulan. I haven't I haven't found her yet. But yeah, there's Mushu and Cricket, and it's a little two pack. There you go. They have another one, another variant where Mushu is completely gold. And I've been trying to get that motherfucker, but uh, yeah, I can't find it for shit. Okay, here we go. Come on out, you bastard. Now, let's see. First of all, here's Mushu. Very, very cool. Played by Eddie Murphy in the movie. And I like this movie. It was, it was really cool. And uh, uh, I don't know if you saw one of my other videos. We got a chance to meet... Uh, let me see if I don't fuck this up. ming Yang. Oh, fuck. Ming Ya Wen, yeah, something like that. Yeah, she's actually the voice for uh, for uh, Mulan, and she is uh, Agent May in uh, in Agents of Shield. And let's try to get Mushu out of here. Come on, you motherfucker. Okay, here we go. And it's a little tiny Mushu. This is very cute. Very very cute. And what I've noticed so far is the Disney pops, uh, once they're vaulted, they seem to be worth the most amount of money, man. I mean, me and my wife collect these things just for collecting them. Uh, we don't plan to sell them or anything like that. But if we ever did, uh, yeah, some of her pops are, are going into the 200s, maybe even 300s. Now, this is the last pop we got. Now, this one, if I remember correctly, is retired, which is a great find. Uh, there's only two of them that we saw in the store. I gave one of them to a buddy of mine. It's uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas. And it's Sally. It's the Nightmare. Yeah, Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, Sally. Disney, number 70. And this variant is has the Day of the Dead makeup, which is really cool. I saw this motherfucker, and I knew uh, that uh, it had been retired. 
and I looked it up on eBay and yeah, these things at Hot Topic are about $12.50, but they got buy one, get one for half off. So $12.50 plus one other one for half off, half of $12.50 is what, $6.25. So it's about 18 bucks, a little under 20 bucks. But this motherfucker, I looked it up on eBay and it was going for about maybe, I think I saw one for about 40, maybe 50 bucks or 30 bucks. I saw one for 80. Um, there's another one I'm going to show you right now. It's uh, it's going for $10, but that's a bid and that, there's still four days left. Now going on off of eBay, it's, it's not a good indicator of what it's worth at the time. What people are asking for, they can ask for a million fucking dollars for all I care. Not a lot of people are going to pay it. What you want to follow is the bids. And uh, uh, once uh, once the bid is the auction is done, that's around you know the price of what people are willing to pay. But bring this motherfucker out. So when I saw this one, I went on eBay and I showed my wife what it's going for, and she got really really excited. I mean, more excited than the time she got that bullet for Christmas. Yes, one of our fucking friends went to the adult theme store, and they got all the females of our friend circle a bullet, and. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I have not seen my wife in a week. Uh, but anyway, she texts me every once in a while to tell me, you know, she's hungry. So I slipped the food underneath the door. But anyways, I'll, I'll, we'll get back to that later on. But anyways, here's uh, the Sally Day of the Dead. Really, really good makeup. Awesome pop. Big head, but they're all, none of them are bubble heads as, as what I... As I can tell, but yeah, none of them are bubble heads, but still a really, really cool pop. A really, really uh, a valuable pop. Um, like I said, I want to say I'm following a bid right now, and it's going for $10, but there's still four days left, and you know how everybody likes to bid on that last 30 seconds, but I'm thinking about maybe in about four months from now, this sucker is going to be about mm, $80 is what people are probably willing to pay for this thing. Uh, there's not a lot of them out there, and like I said, it's already retired, and once it's retired, they don't bring them back. Uh, but yeah, on this collection, you also have the Jack Skeleton, and he's also painted up as Day of the Dead. I um, already have this one. It's not going for as much as this one, but I think it will. But for some reason, Sally's going for a lot more. But anyways, there you go. Well, that's going to be all for this time, guys. Thanks for sharing in to my video of our Funko haul. And Jesus Christ, this chick doesn't even stand up. She's so fucking big-headed, she doesn't even stand up. Okay, well, there you go. So much for value, right? Here you go. And where's Tyrese? Motherfucker. Fuck it. They're all going down. Until next time, kiddos. Peace out.